Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us today. I'm Angela Kim here with Marissa Silvis. Governor Tony Evers announced another turning of the dial on Monday involving the state safer at home order. But let's continue this mom theme because some moms enjoyed being pampered for Mother's Day, but others they decided to show their kids who's boss. That's right. According to a report from ESPN, MLB owners have okayed an outline for a shortened 2020. Prosecutors cleared an Oshkosh school officer who shot a student during a fight, but Tyler Nana doesn't just have all the spread, but she also has a nice day ahead of her today as well. While the coronavirus pandemic has drastically altered the way Americans spend their money, trials are underway in Canada and could be coming to the U.S. Lauren Petty shows us how it works. Well, it's now 516 and coming up in health news, a new study is offering insight on American children who have coronavirus. All we'll the details. For more on the signs and care of allergies, Nurse Christina Paris from the VA joins us on the phone this morning. So good morning, Nurse Christina. News Watch 12 today starts now. Police are still trying to determine who was behind a break in in a Rib Lake restaurant on Tuesday morning. News Watch tells Dan Hagen talked to the owner of Northside Cafe and it gives us a look at the security footage of that break in. A very unfortunate situation there. But outside this morning, Marissa, we're going to have a sunny day compared to the past couple of days we had, which were pretty rainy. Yes, it definitely seems like things are turning around for us in the weather department. For more on what to expect, let's head right on over to our weather center and our Tyler Moore for a first check of our forecast. Another person in Clark County has died from COVID-19, according to the latest numbers from the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. That brings the total number of COVID-19 deaths in Clark County to four. 20 people have tested positive there, the most in our viewing area. Portage County also reported its fifth case of COVID-19 on Wednesday. Across the state, DHS reports that 231 new cases of COVID-19, which is right on the seven-day average. That also came on increased testing numbers yesterday, similar to the surge late last week. DHS also reports that about half of the roughly 6,500 confirmed COVID-19 related cases in Wisconsin have recovered. 5% have died, and they say that one person with COVID-19 died from other causes. Well, like we said, there are more than 6,500 confirmed cases of coronavirus in Wisconsin. That's according to the Johns Hopkins Global Tracker. More than 2,800 of those cases happened in Milwaukee County. That's three times as many as any other county in the state. There have been 308 COVID-19 related deaths. According to the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, more than 1,400 people were hospitalized because of coronavirus. More than 66,000 tests came back negative. Across the country, more than 120,000 people have recovered from COVID-19. Drive up COVID-19 testing sites are now available to residents in Kenosha and Sauk counties. Doctors say Kenosha County has shown 10 to 15 new positive tests for the virus each day. Health officials don't expect it to peak there until June. In Sauk County, the Health Department and the Wisconsin National Guard teamed up to provide drive through testing. An appointment is needed there, though residents with symptoms were encouraged to get tested for the virus. Local fire crews battled a house fire in Woodruff on Wednesday. According to a police officer, emergency personnel responded to the call around 3 in the afternoon. The house is on West Frontier Circle, which is several miles east of downtown Woodruff. Fire crews say that when it arrived, the house was engulfed in flames and has since been declared a total loss. Police say three people lived in the home, including an elderly woman who was taken to the hospital. However, no serious injuries or deaths were reported. Officials are still working to determine what caused that fire. The Lincoln County Sheriff's Office says that one teenager is dead after a car crash in Pine River. Law enforcement says it happened just after one on Wednesday morning on Shady Lane Avenue. Three 16 year olds were involved. The Sheriff's Office says one teen was thrown from the car and was pronounced dead on the scene. They say a second passenger was transported to Aspirus Wausau Hospital. Police say the driver was released from a local medical center and is currently in custody. No word on his pending charges. The cause of the crash remains under investigation.
Governor Tony Evers ordered state agencies to reduce spending by 5% between now and July. It drew praise from the Republicans who called for even more cuts. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Budget Committee Co-Chair John Nygren both said on Wednesday that spending should be frozen starting in July. Wisconsin is grappling with steep revenue drops due to the coronavirus pandemic. Now, Ever says the 5% cut will save about $70 million, but the state is expected to take a $2 billion budget hit over the next year. Evers would not say whether furloughs of state workers, which would be ordered. A conservative justice on the state Supreme Court decided he'll participate in a lawsuit that aims to remove more than 200,000 people from Wisconsin's voter rolls. Daniel Kelly recused himself from the case in March while running in the April 7th spring election against liberal challenger Joe Karofsky. He lost his re-election and on Wednesday announced he would rejoin the case. He said the reason he recused himself no longer exists. Now, no one objected to him rejoining the case, and he feels he has a duty to hear every case that he ethically can.